What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here and you like gear reviews, vlogs, and pews, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Otherwise, as you were. As you saw in the intro of my video, I wanna talk a little bit about one of my favorite companies, QVO Tactical. If you don't know who QVO Tactical is, they're a holster company based out of Las Vegas, Nevada, owned by a cool dude named Roger Barrera. They specialize in Kydex holsters, and I think they have some of the most solid ones out there. I was originally introduced to them by a few people on YouTube, but namely Talon Sai. I'm sure a lot of you that follow my channel also kind of dabble in his channel as well. He had a few videos that he actually introduced his holsters that he would use for his firearms. And QVO Tactical happened to be the one that he was talking about the most. And it was kind of a package deal when you start watching Talon Sai. If you watch Talon Sai's video first, you'll end up on Roger's channel. Never met them in person, but I can honestly say their channels are awesome. So I'll leave links for them right here. So after a year of watching Roger's videos, I finally broke down and purchased one of his holsters. And that's what I want to talk to you guys about today. I have three holsters from QVO Tactical that I wanted to showcase for you today. There's one inside the waistband option and then two outside of the waistband options that I use for different applications. The inside the waistband option is called the wingman and then the outside of the waistband options I have are called secondaries. Though QVO has other holster options, uh, those are the three that I currently have. So let's get started. The Wingman is one of a few options for carrying a firearm inside the waistband. It is lightweight, super sturdy, and can be ordered with your choice of Kydex and Kodura fabric, or you can order it without fabric. QVO has a number of firearm options for you to choose from, as well as weapon light options too. The Wingman can also be adjusted for retention of both the firearm and magazine. This holster has honestly been one of my favorites, mainly because it looks good, the retention on it is excellent, and the craftsmanship is just amazing. Just so none of you freak out, here's my Glock 17 right here. No rounds in the mag, and no, no round in the chamber, nothing. It is empty. This holster is made for a Glock 17 with an Inforce APL Gen 3. But as you can see, there is no light on this pistol right now. And I did that mainly because I'll be showing you a few different holsters that um, don't all have the same light. And one of them is, isn't even equipped for a light. So I am i didn't want to have to take one off every time. So this is what you get. I chose specifically Multicam Black over Carbon Fiber Purple, mainly because I love this color combo. It was either between this purple or a neon yellow or neon green. I just have loved this a lot better. It's just a little bit darker. You can put it in, you know, in my in my pants and not have to really worry about, you know, it being seen in case, you know, my shirt gets caught up or something like that. Let me show you how it fits. I've got my Glock, I've got my mag, for example, and I've got my holster. So my gun, my magazine. And as you can see, just like you've seen in some of Talon's videos, he's got a Core Essentials belt. I have a Core Essentials belt, but I've mounted mine over to the side so that I can specifically have a holster here. So let me loosen my belt a little bit and shove this in my pants. There you go. I mean, you can see that it prints a little bit, but honestly, I really don't care. So as you can see from me just putting it on that, it honestly is not bad. Uh, considering the Glock 17 is a full size firearm, I honestly don't carry it too much inside the waistband. Um, there's only a select few times that I'll actually carry it like that. Otherwise it'll just be primarily off body. So along with the, the Wingman, QVO Tactical also makes the more discreet, which is kind of a more concealable option uh, for a pistol, but it doesn't have a mag carrier. And then they make the Wingman 2.0, which basically separates the mag carrier from the pistol and puts a hinge right in between both of them so that there's more flexibility when you are uh, carrying in you know, tighter pants or something like that. I haven't really tried it out yet, so I can't give a full opinion on it, but I would encourage you to go and check it out. Next are my two secondaries. So this one here was the first secondary holster that I ever purchased from QVO Tactical. And honestly, I've loved it since day one. This is their Multicam Arid over Brown, as you can see there. And what's different about this one is that it has a Velcro backing. And this is something that you can purchase separate on QVO's website. 
So as you'll notice, there are three screws on this holster here, and that enables you to mount a few different systems to this holster. The way they, they've kind of done it is they have this holster mounted to this piece of Kydex and hook Velcro. And the original reason why I wanted this holster specifically was because I wanted to mount this into my Vertex bag. I actually did a, a video review about the Vertex commuter bag, and so I can leave that link up here. The way I mount it is I will go ahead and just stick that inside the backpack itself where there is a loop um, area for the Velcro to stick. And then I'll conceal my pistol right in there. And it's honestly a really nice off-body carry option, and I pretty much do that every day. Ooh, look at that. Oh yeah. Nice. Ooh, that's a nice click. But yeah, that's uh, this is what I usually carry on a daily basis. This or my Glock 48, but currently I don't have a Velcro holster for my Glock 48. So this is what I'm usually carrying. And next I'll show you a clip of me drawing my pistol from my Vertex bag with a Velcro mounted secondary in my bag. I really think that the design is where the secondary shines. They kind of covered their bases when it comes to mounting options. And having this Velcro on the back of this secondary is one of those options that you can opt in for that maybe can work for you if, you know, inside the waistband holsters don't work for you or even outside the waistband. I honestly think that this is single-handedly the best option for off-body carry. So I have a second secondary, second sec secondary, say that five times fast, and this one, Yes, it has all the same features as this one here with the three screws that can mount to this, but I think the three screws are meant for something a little bit different on this next setup. So how I have it mounted here is on my Safe Life Defense battle belt there, if you can see that. I have it mounted on a Safari Land mid-ride belt hook with the holster mounted right onto this here clip that slides on to this QLS system. Let me show you how it works. So I have my belt right here and I'm just gonna mount it up to my body, buckle it up, and now I have my system here. So I have some mag stuff and I'll talk about this belt in, in another video, but I just wanted to show you how this all works. So here I've got my holster all mounted up and ready to go. And how I can take it off is just like I said before, you've got these those three screws. This clip is mounted to the holster. So this is a ranger green over orange if you are wondering. But here we go. So I'll throw this on there like so. So it's pretty retentive. Take my pistol, throw it right there. Obviously this is mounted for an X300, which I do not have on the pistol once again. But, so I don't recommend tipping this one upside down because it definitely needs the light for it to retain itself. Now you can see that's how I use this holster. Guys, I love QVO Tactical. I love all the stuff they make. I love what they stand for. I love just watching the cool things that go on in their shop. Um, honestly, if you watch their videos, you'll see that a lot of their operations are within a garage. And when you support a holster company like this, you're supporting real people. Just remember that whenever you purchase and you go through their wait time. And that's another thing I should mention. Their wait time tends to be at max about eight weeks. And I've waited eight weeks before. Given I did order on Black Friday, it was totally worth it. I know they're a small operation and they do the best they can to go as quickly as possible. One thing I should mention about that though. They take a lot of pride and care in their work and whenever they ship out a holster they usually ship it out in a bag like this and to be honest they don't have to do that. I find it very cool that they you know take that time to order these, put our holsters in them, put our receipts in here, and put that in the package. I find that very cool and I can use those bags in my range bag for other things or if you collect brass, you can throw them in there. You know, there's ways to use those, but I, I just think that that's a nice touch. So just remember, with their lead time, just be patient. And if you have any issues, just reach out to them. As I've watched their YouTube, as I followed their Instagram, all of their social media, I've seen kind of the interactions they've had with a lot of customers. 
and there have been a lot of customers where they are not so nice. I can just say this right now. If you have any issues with anything that they sell or anything that you've ordered from them, reach out to them first. Don't go straight to social media. Don't leave reviews. Talk to them first. Get it resolved. See if they, what they can do. I know Roger and Des and everybody at that company are very, very responsive. And so if you have any issues with anything, reach out to them first. So I want to know from you guys, what holster companies do you use and trust? Um, I'm never confined to just one holster company. Yes, I love QVO, but I'm, I'm branching out every day. So let me know in the comments below what you use to carry your firearm, either inside, outside the waistband, whatever. Well, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please leave a like down below. I really appreciate any of the likes that I receive. And that's going to be all for today. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.